What's going on guys? Sam Adams here and welcome to the last video of 2015. This is actually going to be the final video to go up on my channel before the ball drops and we are officially in 2016. And um, I was trying to figure out what kind of video to make for today because I could talk about something that's going on in the gaming industry. I could talk about something that's going on in 2016 in the gaming industry or you know what I'm looking forward to the most as far as uh, you know maybe conferences go or something along those lines. I could have easily made one of those videos. Uh, but as I was sitting there thinking about it, I uh, felt like I should do a rambling video. And um, since I made the Chill in Real Life channel, which is my second channel that for the most part gets neglected the majority of the time, uh, I used to do these things every Wednesday called rambling videos where I would just talk about things that were going on in my own personal life. And sometimes it overlapped with games that I was playing, you know, uh, things that I was learning about the gaming industry. But in general, it was just talking about what was going on in my life, graduating or graduating, graduating, where, wherever the emphasis goes, uh, getting a new car even I remember doing a vlog on that and um I used to do these at least once a week and um after I kind of graduated I didn't really do them much anymore just because I was working and it was pretty much the same thing week to week but with this uh, being the last video of 2015 I thought that I would go back and just talk about my year in general and um, we'll go ahead and start with December of 2014 and go all the way into December of 2015 like literally today um, so starting with December into early January of 2015, uh, to be honest, I'll just come out and say it, I was extremely depressed and not satisfied with where life was at all. Um, I'm very driven by exercise and staying active, and uh, it was very cold and wet last December and January, and so I couldn't really go running. I didn't have a gym membership, and I wasn't definitely going to pay for a gym membership, so pretty much I would wake up at 5 a.m. every morning. I would do my homework, or what little homework I had senior year of high school, and then I would go to school. Uh, I was in band, so I would get there at 7, and then... Um, I would get home about 3 or 3.30 because I would leave a little bit early to beat the traffic, you know, I ditch class all the time. And I would get home about 3 or 3.30 and just make YouTube videos or I would play a game, you know, what little games there were available because the previous fall, nothing good had come out and that's pretty much what we all play the first couple of months of the year. Like, you know, this year we have Just Cause 3, uh, Star Wars Battlefront, you know, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. There are tons of awesome games out. Halo 5, Fallout 4. It's blowing my mind how many awesome games there are. Uh, but in early 2015, there really wasn't anything to play, so it was pretty much just work all the time. And uh, back then, I was a janitor, and I do miss doing that, but um, we'll get into that later. I would just go to work a couple of days a week, and then for the most part, I would either be in school or I would come here and make YouTube videos, which... I wasn't fulfilling. I just didn't feel like I was really doing anything with the life that I had been given and with the time that I was given. And so I just didn't really feel it. And uh, that's pretty much how it was. Because normally, um, going into the graduation season, because of course last year, if you didn't know, I did graduate in June. And uh, going into the graduation season, a lot of kids my age are excited. They're anticipating graduating. But with the just the stagnation of where my life was at that point, I just really wasn't looking forward to it. And so that was pretty much the majority of uh, December 2014 into about uh, late February, early March of 2015. And um, the thing that really changed it, uh, I guess in my mind, it was just a psychological thing. The games that started coming out kind of changed my perspective of where 2015 was and where I was because I guess video games are a huge part of my life. I have a whole YouTube channel. You know, there's tons of content surrounding you that I've probably made. And, um... They're a huge part of my life. So the first game that I remember coming out in 2015 that I thought was really good, and a lot of people might disagree with me, uh, was The Order 1886. And it was very short. It was um, not worth $60, but at the same time, it was a very good experience, and I had a great time playing it. And that just kind of was like, hey, yeah, there's a game. There's a game that is worth playing. And so I would play it, and I really enjoyed it. And so that kind of picked me up a little bit. And then Bloodborne came out, and I was like, oh, Oh, look at that. That's that's new. You know, I suck at it, but you know, it's a little something to play and hold me over. And then Battlefield Hardline came out and I played it for a couple of weeks and I generally enjoyed it. And it was around that time that I had finally built my gaming PC. So uh, let's go ahead and go into some uh, backstory on that. I had never had a gaming PC before. I only had this crappy little Toshiba laptop to make YouTube videos on. It was very slow. Uh, it had an i3 processor in it, which is fried now because of all of the videos that I made on it. But um, 
I had finally built a gaming PC with the uh, help of a friend, uh, Random Gamer 50 here on YouTube. Uh, his name is Nick in real life. We'll just go with Nick. But he really helped me build a gaming PC, and so I was finally able to play a lot more games, and it felt like there was just more to play with the combination of The Order and Bloodborne and Battlefield Hardline, and those are the main ones that had come out. I believe uh, Hotline Miami 2 had come out around that time as well. And so I was just feeling pretty good, you know. It was like the industry had picked back up again, and then kind of, you know, my life had picked back up again to go alongside of that and that was pretty cool so that was the majority of like my March and my April and then prom happened and that's when the social thing kind of snapped in my brain like hey you should do more stuff because these people are going to be gone in like two months and so um and prom night I went out had a great time you know I really enjoyed prom there's dust on my keyboard but I really had a good time and then um going into graduation season uh, I was just ready to get it over with you know everybody else was like sentimental hugging you know oh we'll hang out over the summer and in the back of my mind I'm like I'm not gonna see any of y'all again give me my degree I'm heading out and so I did graduate well obviously you know I'm not still going to high school but that was just like the thing in my mind that was like all right now life can start and I was really looking forward to college I thought that it was going to be some kind of great institutional feat that I was going to have to accomplish and really earn a degree in but uh, we'll, we'll get into that in a minute whenever we hit about August or September uh, so summer was upon me and there we were and um, I had had a vacation plan but that didn't really work out just because of financial stuff that was going on I had to buy textbooks for school uh, start paying for the um, you know, classes I had to take and whatnot. So for the majority of the time between late May, June, July, and the majority of August, I was working constantly. And of course, as I said uh, at the beginning of this video, I was a janitor uh, from about August of 2014 all the way into August of 2015, give or take. And so I would wake up and on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I would go clean this church. And then uh, throughout the rest of the week, I would help my mom uh, clean houses that she has because she's a uh, kind of a housemaid. And then I was doing the janitor thing. And so we worked really well together because we both knew what we were doing. And so she would give me a little bit of uh, money from her paycheck just to kind of compensate me for my time and the help that I was giving her. And then I would make money from the other place. And so I had a pretty substantial source of income, you know, coming in. And so I was able to buy these monitors, these extra monitors. Um, I was able to buy a, a new 3DS. I was able to buy some games, some new lighting, a green screen. There were a lot of green screen videos that I had at the beginning of the year, but the uh, editing was just so difficult for that. And so for the majority of the summer, I just worked really hard, made a lot of money, and I put a lot of effort into streaming on Twitch and YouTube. I did Twitch for probably a solid uh, three months, I would say, give or take, you know, probably starting around June, maybe going into July and August. I did Twitch a good few times a week, and I was really enjoying it, but uh, eventually life just caught up to me. I had to give that up but that was the majority of my summer and so now we were going into the beginning of college and as I said just a couple of minutes ago um I expected college to be some kind of institutional, you know, glorified, this is where the real learning begins. High school was just practice. High school was the tutorial mission, and now you're getting into the real meat of the game. And uh, as I started getting into the college classes, I realized that the only challenging class I had was actually going to be math, and that's just because I sucked at math. The rest of them were very trivial, the rest of them were very opinionated, and for the most part... I, I just didn't do anything for the majority of the first semester of college, which was very disappointing. And so this trend kind of began in about September, maybe late September, early October. And so progressively, I put more effort into my YouTube videos. Uh, progressively, I just kind of, you know, lived life and I just started playing more games and a lot more stuff started coming out so I could really enjoy these, um, these different, uh, you know, things that people had developed and so of course as always gaming remained a pretty big part of my life and I would hang out with people at college I spent a lot of time in the library just you know researching stuff doing the homework or what little homework I actually had to do and uh, that was pretty much how I spent the majority of September October and the majority of November and then of course Thanksgiving came around loved Thanksgiving and um and then, of course, now we are in December, and so I had exams, and I passed all of them. I had uh, A's, B's, and one C, and the C was in math, you know, because, you know, math. But, uh, yeah, so now we are on Christmas break, and Christmas was great. I got this smartwatch, as you guys might have noticed. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it, it does do that kind of thing, and then you can, you, you know, you got a whole bunch of different stuff you can do. But it's a pretty cool piece of technology. I got a record player that I keep right here. Uh, I got a new sound bar, and in general, Christmas was incredible this year. I got a, a lot of awesome new clothes and stuff to wear. I love clothes. Uh, but now my car just blew up this week. Well, it's getting ready to blow up and we're trying to keep it from blowing up so that we can trade it in. But, um, 
I'm looking into buying a new vehicle this Friday on New Year's Day, or if they're not, I'm assuming they're open on New Year's Day, uh, either New Year's Day or the day after New Year's, sometime in the near future, because I need a vehicle and my parents hate driving me back and forth to where I need to go. Uh, so that's pretty much the majority of my 2015, and I can honestly say that the best decision I made this year was getting a gym membership, because if you go back and look at some videos from the beginning of the year, I didn't look entirely different. You know, I, I still had the same kind of haircut, I still had the same kind of facial features, you know, like the jawline is pretty much still the same but I just wasn't healthy and you could tell it and uh, that's where the gym really came in handy because I signed up for the gym in July and I pretty much went between five and six times a week for the majority of the time since I got the gym membership and it has benefited me tremendously so if any of you are looking for a new resolution obviously it's a little bit stereotypical but a gym membership helps so much and it really does improve your entire mental psyche but um YouTube was amazing in 2015. I really enjoyed doing it. I'm up to 557 subscribers at the time of making this video, and my prediction, or my hope, uh, whenever I made a similar video in 2014, was that I would actually have 400 subscribers by the end of 2015, and here we are surpassing that by over 150, which is like, you know, that's incredible. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and set a, a guesstimate that I'm going to have... 800 by the end of 2016 I say that's pretty fair maybe I'll have more than that maybe I'll have less who knows but I'm still going to make content as long as those of you are out there watching and I know this is a pretty long video it's coming in at about 12 minutes or so but if you made it to the end remember this moment and I might make another one saying my goal for 20 um I'll probably make another one saying my goal for 2016 and repeating everything I'm saying here but those of you that are sticking around to the end of this video, those of you that watch all of the content that I make on a weekly basis, you know, if you watch all three videos or four videos, if you watch, you know, two or even just one video and you just enjoy something I make, you're the reason I do this. And of course, I would do it even if you weren't here. But at the same time, just seeing the interaction with you guys, seeing you guys like these videos, seeing the interaction stuff on Twitter where you, you know, I just liked a video by Pretty Chill Guy. And I'm like, yeah. You just like something I made. That's awesome. And you guys keep me going, you know. You made my 2015 great, and that comes from the bottom of my heart. I kid you not. YouTube has changed my life in so many ways since I started doing it. And I hope each and every one of you had as good of a 2015 as I did, because mine was awesome, and I hope 2016 is even better, not just for the YouTube channel, but for my life and definitely the lives that you guys have out there in general. But that's about all I have today. And um, I hope that you guys have a great New Year's Eve. I hope you guys stay safe tomorrow whenever you're, you're watching the ball drop or if you go to parties or whatever. But just know that whenever the ball drops in 2016 comes around, you can count your bottom dollar that there will be an edition of On the Topic of coming out right here on Friday. So uh, that's about all I've got for you guys today. Thank you for watching this video. I'll talk to you soon. And peace.